We're gonna test it for science. So in the last video, we tested triple filtered beeswax pellets, and this is claimed to not have paraffin wax or any type of other waxes. It's supposed to be 100% pure. This is beeswax from a beekeeper in Michigan. One of the first differences that I can note is that this actually smells like honey. This is very potently smelling of honey. This has only a faint aroma of honey. This is definitely big chalk and sticky and it's not very like pliable whereas the pellets seem to be super soft. So let's melt this down and test it compare how it did to this. The first test I want to give it is how does beeswax work on its own so we're going to clean this out and melt this down and try it by itself. So let's break us off a chunk of this here beeswax and toss it over in our melter just like that. Okay, so we got the real beeswax ready to go and we're gonna drop us a little bit right here immediately. It's not quite as liquidy, but it's still pretty liquidy. And let's set this on top and it does sink down like the other beeswax that's cheap. The next step is gonna be to melt down the cheap beeswax and find out how it does. For round two, we're gonna mix together the real beeswax and the hot glue sticks to make the same thing as we have here, except for this is the cheap beeswax mixed with hot glue. So this will be the real beeswax mixed with hot glue compared to this one for round two. Okay, so let's remove this wax stamp from the real beeswax and find out how that did. Oh, it's, it's actually stuck on there pretty good. Come on out of there. Let go, son. Aw, oh, it messed up. It's really on there, oh my God. So next we're gonna test the cheap beeswax over here for round number one. Now for test number two, we're gonna put the cheap beeswax. Yeah, that's definitely way more liquidy. It's trying to run down the page. And we'll try to keep it all over there while we just set that on there. Like that, that is so, so liquidy. Oh my God. While that's cooling off, we're gonna take some of the cheap beeswax hot glue mixture and melt some of that down for round two while we're still waiting on the real beeswax and the hot glue to melt down for round two. So let's see what round one does for the beeswax cheap. Up, 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 up. Huh. So it stuck the same way. So this is round one, cheap beeswax versus real beeswax. Right now we're working on round two. All right, so for round two of the like quote unquote beeswax that's super cheap we're gonna do a test stamp right there and we're gonna come in here like that skadoosh just like that so let's see how this one turned out click oh yes that looks quite nice as it does one thing I gotta say is that it smells like a straight-up beehive and it's got its own natural yellow color so we're ready to test this we're just gonna take us a little spoonful of this here beeswax and hot glue and we're just gonna drop that right onto our page. Oh, that is so thick. That is so thick compared to the other one. So we're gonna take that there. We'll just take our stamp and press down in the middle like that. And boom, we gotta wait for it to cool. So let's see how that comes loose. Ooh, that just let go immediately. Look at that. That looks so cool. And it smells, what is it? It smells like honey. And that's the natural color. And then this is added color. This is the cheap beeswax and hot glue. This is real beeswax and hot glue, right? So here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna put some ink on it and we're gonna do a durability test. So let's do a durability test between all of them. Let's see. All right. Flexi, flexi, brutally, brittly. Yeah, kinda like that. And then we have the real beeswax, which is, oh wow, that's not breaking at all. That's very strong. That is so flexible. That is great. All right, let's test the cheap cheap beeswax and hot glue. Oh, that tore right there immediately. It tore. Now let's test the beeswax and hot glue. Wow. That is so, there we go. We got a break. We got a break at a very stout angle. <laughs> that is so much more durable. Versus like, wow, so just readily speaking, this is definitely thicker and stickier than this one. So beeswax, real beeswax is the winner here. This came from a beekeeper in Michigan and this came from Amazon. This was $4. Uh, this was gifted to me. I don't know how much it is. Uh, you'd have to look up real beeswax like raw This is raw unprocessed uncooked beeswax versus triple filtered cooked and processed 
And as to the raw ingredients, um, the raw beeswax looks like this right here and right here. So this is the real stuff and this is the pellets made, right? And the next thing we're going to test is going to just pour it up into sticks and cut it up. The leftover wax we're going to keep and cut up into little bitty pellets and we'll add that alongside these ones. So now we have our glue sticks. Let's put them into pellets. How about that? Now we have real beeswax mixed with hot glue and we have fake beeswax, which is probably real beeswax, but because of the triple filter cooked and processed, um, you have to add candle dye to it to get that yellow color. This is naturally this color and it's a little diluted because it's mixed with hot glue, but this is organic raw beeswax from a beekeeper. And I would say that this is the superior wax hands down. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to stay hydrated and clean as you go. You know, peace dudes.